Whether it's because they have been only printed for a specific market in China or whatever other region or because they were offered as a prize for championships, there are some cards you will never be able to have in this game unless you spend a stupid amount of money. And there is now new addition to that pool of cards that will be unattainable in the future. Hello everyone and welcome to Anything Geek, my name is Zero and today we're gonna talk about some specific cards from OPO7 that you will never be able to get. But first let's talk about the only card that I will present to you today that you will be able to get your hands on because this is the Dawn from OPO7. We have all the Shishibukai ready for war. It's a super cool looking card. The set does have a Boa Hancock leader and Boa Hancock is actually the manga rare for the set. So having a Dawn card that is Shichibukai based is very interesting and you can totally use this to pimp your deck even with previous leader like Don Quixote Don Flamingo or even Moya if you like. But now let's talk about some cards that you will never see in your lifetime unless you are filthy rich. First there's a special down for the championship 2023 that has been revealed as prize and it's a very cool looking down but as we know those cards that are offered as prize for tournament they usually fetch a very high price because of how rare they are. That said, this card is not going to be the priciest of the bunch because they have revealed the three cards for bronze, silver and gold place. And it's a reprint of the 10 cost 12k power Monkey D. Luffy, the one from OPO5 where when you play it, you take another turn. And that's very fitting as a pride because this card is obviously very cool in its design mechanically wise for the game. But also they got creative with the artwork. You have that goofy art of uh, Luffy in Gear 5 on that card. And also you can see that they've embellished the name and tags on the card. It's very fitting for prize of tournament. But as cards that you will never get, those are fairly easy target because they are prizes for tournament, of course. But now some cards that are included in a set and you can pull just regularly will not be available to you. Because you see there are two cards from OPO7 that have been misprinted. The first one is Mr. Tanaka that you see right here. The correct version is the one above and the incorrect version is the one below. And you can see they've even circled the error on the cards. But when they do the cards, there's multiple layers and then you put them in the right order and you got your picture. Well, there was some layers mistake on this card and so you can see the bow on the incorrect version the color of the bow is actually larger than the bow itself i would have honestly paid no attention to this had i had that card in hand when opening a box quite frankly but keep in mind that that was for the japanese version so we will never have those cards over here the set will be corrected when it go out in english and to be fair uh, mr tanaka is kind of uh, unknown character to me at least i think it's i think it comes from one of the film but it's kind of a problem when this happens to a very important card in the set namely the sr monkey d luffy that is presented right here you see there are two mistakes and again that's the kind of layer thing that was the mistake you see they've circled both of them on the cards and with so much going around on uh, this specific cards i clearly wouldn't have noticed if they hadn't pointed this out to us. So if you're someone that is very focused on the rare things and the rarest card possible, just know that there are some cards out there from OPO7 that have these printing mistakes and that since it's gonna be corrected, there's gonna be very few of those and only in Japanese. So if you want to seek them out, that's going to be very complicated. Well, there you go, guys. This was the little bit of news that we had during last week. OPO7 has had the full cards list revealed. So if you want my thoughts on the cards in the set and which one is going to be important and which one is going to be interesting, make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss anything geek. Bye, guys.